Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I want to take out my surfboard that Andy made, the brand new Resonate Custom Fish for the very first time. It's EPS, epoxy, through and through, and super light surfboard. Andy did a masterful job on shaping this, and we filmed the whole thing. So in the future, um, we will put out a video or a tutorial of this board being shaped and the mind thought process by both of us. First thing, I like to get my wax job. Notice I have the crosshatch going. Something I've always done, I just spend some time creating a little crosshatch and then I just wax over it like a regular wax job. Check my leash, make sure that the rail guard is protecting the rail. You see that? Don't let the string be too long or the rope. Uh, traction pad, let it sit for a whole day and uh, ready to go, super excited. So yeah, just uh, basically down to the beach, I have it set up. It's a middle, these fins are actually medium size um, Almerics and I have it, it's a five fin setup but I have it set up for a quad. So I can change it to a thruster if I want to, which I may do a comparison. And uh, just just right before sunset, I think there was about an hour before the sun was about to set. So I just wanted to take it out for a quick spin. Um, I had been resting because my knee was bugging me, but um, it was feeling better. And I was like, let's do this. First touch of the water, be free surfboard. So yes, that was the very first time that the surfboard got to feel its home. <laughs> Um, I always like to check my fins, make sure that uh, you know, I didn't use any fin screws in the back. So I, uh, you know, they're FCS2, they do snap in, but I wanted to take it for a spin, but I was planning on getting some FCS2 fins, which I did. Head over to the local surf shop and um, shout out to Kina Surf for helping me find some fin screws. So I now have those in. I have lost some fins in the past because I didn't have those screws in and um, I didn't want that to happen again. What happens is uh, the leash can actually snag the back of the fins, and if you don't have any fin screws in, boom, out they go. So the very first thing I like to do is just paddle it around and check the duck dive, see how it feels. First time in the water, no expectations. You know, I don't know how the board's gonna feel. You never do, even even when you pick it up. But I always try not to have expectations. I always try to think to myself like, you know what? Don't try to do any crazy maneuvers or anything like that. Don't try to over surf it. Just uh, you know just kind of go with it i like to wax my feet so what i do after i wax it i get out there i spend a minute then i do seated turns these are basically just seated turns swiveling my legs great way to warm up your knees um which i you know i have a knee injury and then my other knee is bothering me from overcompensating with the knee injury so um, that's one of my favorite warms up warm-ups i do like five spins in a circle in both directions and this is the very first wave i caught i could already feel that the board was gonna catch the wave super easy and as soon as I got to my feet, I was like, whoa. I was like, this board, I feel like I've surfed this board a hundred times already. Boom, right into a turn, like it felt natural, like it, I didn't have to think about it. And that's the sign of a good board. And there's my thumbs up of approval. So yes, the board felt great. Super excited to have a custom board that I got to work directly with the shapers. I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to do that. This is my first left. Same thing, you know, I'm not trying to go hard or anything, um, just kind of flowing with it. And once again, going left, I was like, boom, wow. A couple turns, felt good. And being 222 pounds right now, it's, I mean, this board, the great thing about it, if you get a good board, it, it does a lot of the work for you. I felt like I only, I felt like I weighed 200 pounds. And uh, another right, um, right here, the quad fin, you can see I kind of slip out there. So when you're surfing a quad fin, if you flatten out on the turn or the bottom turn, meaning you're not you're not using as much rail, quads will, will slip out, so you gotta get used to surfing them. Um, but but great thing about quads is that you can get a tail release really easy if you know that. You just basically have to flatten the board out and boom, you'll release the tail on a top turn. Almost too easy. Um, so already I'm thinking this board feels great. Now since this video, I've surfed this board for another like two or three weeks. So I already kind of have a good idea of like how it works and everything as I make this video but no it felt great um, it was a pretty small day with maybe chest to shoulder high waves um, there was a bunch of people out that I'd never seen before in this particular wave um, guy dropped in on me if you notice he didn't even look back so um, it's important you intermediates and beginners that when you catch waves you got to look behind you before you go um, I actually normally I would just kind of would, wouldn't say anything but um, it happened a few times today, so I paddled over to the guy and, you know, I said it in a nice way. I was like, hey man, don't, you gotta look where you're going, you know, don't do that again. And then he was like, what, what? And I'm like, you, know, you, you saw what you did, don't do that again. And then he was, 
he was pretty cool about it. He apologized. Even on the beach, he kind of came up to me and was like, oh, man, I'm sorry about that. And I was just like, you know, I've been here for 15 years, so appreciate a little respect. I know you guys don't know that. But, um, yeah, you know, it's important. Etiquette. There is a pecking order in, in the ocean at local spots. And, you know, I always try to respect it when I go to other spots that I'm not familiar with. And that was pretty much, you know, the session. I only caught like seven or eight waves. And um, it just felt really good. And I, I highly recommend uh, Andy's skill set if you have a chance to work with Andy. I mean, he's got these fishes. Now, this is definitely the best fish I've ever surfed. And then that was it. And then a little smudge sunset, end of the day. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, Pura Vida and Aloha. See you in the next video.